Well, commercial barge traffic should fully resume on the Mississippi River as early as Tuesday. Parts of the heavily used river have been impassable to barge and tug traffic after a recent flooding left behind an unwanted surprise. Tug captains notice barges hitting the bottom and getting stuck in the main channels. Apparently, the recent flooding carried in tons of silt and sand that plugged at least two sections of the river. As Bill Hudson explains, emergency dredging operations are pushing hard to get commerce flowing. On the banks of the Mississippi River at Alma, Wisconsin, tugs and barges sit motionless. An unusual scene in what's normally a busy summer season. So, uh, yeah, the industry is starting to feel the, the impacts. The Army Corps of Engineers' George Stringham says that's because some of the river's channels are too shallow, plugged with silt and sand carried downstream during recent flooding. Because towboats and barges can't get through. They get stuck. Yeah. Getting stuck because channels are too shallow. Heavily loaded barges need a minimum nine foot deep channel to navigate safely. And that's why the Army Corps is doing emergency dredging to pull out what floodwaters carried in. Basically just dropped out of of uh, of the water and filled in the channels. More than 50,000 cubic yards of sand are being removed from just the first two plugged river channels. And it's a sure bet more emergency dredging will be needed once river navigation resumes. Tug captains and crews are getting anxious to get deliveries to destinations. Meantime, the work continues in a giant watery sandbox to clear clogged channels and get river commerce free flowing again. The Corps of Engineers expects the Alma section of the river will reopen Friday night. Crews are going to be working through the weekend and they expect to clear another closure near Winona sometime early next week.